right. Those of you that follow me will know where this is. Over a sand bayway. That's going down towards Middle Hope and St Thomas Point. Sand Point that way. Sand Bay Beach down there, which I've come from. I got, I got the bus over today. I, I did a big walk a week ago. Um, it doesn't mean it would stop me doing another big walk. It's just that it's been, the conditions are very muddy. So what I'm doing today is, um, until the last moment, I'm doing less mud if I can. It's not always possible. Lovely views from here. Right over there we've got the Priory, which I talk about loads. I've been in it. Apart from the tower, I've not been in the tower yet. That is up on the list. It's not open that often. Usually in the summer with a guided tour. Don't know if they charge you now. There's the hills that I walk a lot. I was over a road barrow not long ago. Um, I'll be doing a swoop round along a bridle path and back. That's where it could be quite boggy. Uh, apart from that, I'm walking straight ahead. <sighs> Trying to avoid mud at the moment. Uh, I think there's some sheep. Yeah, there's sheep are out again. They're probably all expecting, I expect now, these lot. And there will be some spring lambs very soon. This is where Sandington, the drama, happened. They had the carriage and horses going along there. They bathed in the beach down the bottom there. Uh, and I got some photos of them and a small video when I was over here when they were doing their scenes. So I got them. It's on the map now. This very quiet little place. It's going to be invaded. They're going to do some more shots out here as well. It's going to be some more scenes done. So I've just come through that gate. That leads you to the trig point, sand point. It is quite soggy. Now this is so, this is um, not unusual for winter. I'm sure we've had lovely weather like this. I mean, we've had some wind and we've had a lot of grey skies, but it's still been mild. You know, the the ground is so soft. You know, you wouldn't think it was winter because in the winter normally it stays rock hard for ages, especially in these higher exposed areas. But 2020, it's the 18th of January 2020. Um, I've got a feeling I might have come out here since the 1st of January, but I'm not sure because I've been doing other walks. Um, I got a feeling I was up on the Mendips um, not that long ago. I have to look back in the in the book to see what I was doing but I'm out here a lot I do a lot of my reflective diaries here um, I'm keeping high up at the moment I decided not to do Sandpoint because on a Saturday this is where you're going to get most of the visitors they park up they do a nice hike up the beach they know they've got a hike back Unless they park down the bottom there in the National Trust place, which is only partly open because it's it gets damaged the grass if uh, it, they open it in the winter. So some people they just do Sand Point, which is up that end, with beautiful views of the Bristol Channel over to Western Steep Home and Flat Home. Um, when they get a bit braver, they venture here. This was all part of the Abbey. All this land, it probably still is. National Trust now. There's people coming all the time. Very difficult to video. Um, and there's someone coming. Let me just have a look. Yeah. So there we go. Just a bit of a panoramic thing. There's a girl coming, another dog. So that's just an introduction to one of the many walks that I do here. Many walks. Over now. Alright, another walk. It's a lovely day. I've just been talking to a lady with her dog. She's absolutely loving it. And we both agreed it's just not like winter. No hard ground. Um, 
that's the Priory there. Just a sh short video to add. 18th of January 2020. I've just come down a slope over there, past what I call Scallop Bay. It's not its proper name, it's what I call it. There are some people on the hill up there a minute ago. I've come down that track, of course, I've done all the tracks. People coming this way, I expect. There's a family on the beach having a picnic. They've got a wheelbarrow with all their stuff in it. Seems the easiest way, doesn't it? <sighs> Wells over there, Cardiff. Cardiff and... Uh, can't see the suspension bridges, it's a bit misty. If we look over there, we've got um, Crook's Peak in the distance. Just on the edge there, that's Crook's Peak, just on the edge. And then you've got the Mendip Hills. You've got the Mendip Hills. All the way across to Roborough and the Hill Fort and the... Um, areas of outstanding natural beauty. be someone coming along in a minute. I bumped in. i seen him earlier. I'm just doing a couple of short videos. I've walked here many, many times. Sometimes up to once a week for a couple of years. I was coming up here all the time. Why not once a week? Well, yeah, no. Yeah, easy once a week. The priory won't be open. I'm hoping to go up in the tower one day. So I was chatting to a young girl who's come, well, not, she, not, she's young compared to me, but she's, um, she, she's been happy enjoying her walk. That's what it's all about, getting out and bloody enjoying it while we can. I'll probably be out again tomorrow if it's nice. I'm not staying in. No, nope, I ain't staying in if it's nice. Tide's coming in. Yeah. Little sheep out. Collie barking. Barking at the sea. They're funny then. Those dogs are. I'm expecting people to come over. Unless they're staying at the Priory. Because um, people can rent it out. £800 a week. A week. Yeah, it looks nice to pray. Ah, it looks lovely. Of course, the rent money helps maintain it, but I thought, when I got in the gardens in the summer, I thought it was looking a little bit uh, neglected, actually. I don't know why they don't have the museum open more and do teas in that garden.
very foggy in the field. Over and out again.